Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dave Station VR, and we have a lot to talk about. Uh, PlayStation Experience, PSX 2017, was this weekend, and a lot of cool new stuff is coming out for PSVR. So uh, we'll go through some of the trailers and some of the new games that they've announced here. Uh, I want to start off right off the bat with some cool announcements about free stuff coming out. Uh, now, Wipeout Omega Collection for PlayStation 4, which has been out for a while, um, is getting a free update for VR. And it looks awesome. Uh, it's got the full content from the entire game, all three uh, Wipeout games, and then also new exclusive ships. So that should be really, really cool. They say early 2018 for that one. Uh, next thing coming up right around the corner is uh, there's a new Last Guardian VR experience. It's supposed to be like 20 minutes long, and that's coming for free on the 12th, uh, which is like two days from now. So that should be really cool. Uh, I really love those Team Ico games, um, so that'll be great. And uh, right around the corner, we also got Resident Evil 7 DLC coming out on the 12th. Some of which is free, some of which you got to pay for. But uh, that should be cool as well. So let's get into the, the new stuff at PlayStation Experience here. A lot of cool stuff coming out. All right, so right around the corner on December 18th, we've got Accounting Plus coming out. Uh, so Accounting has been out for a while as a free VR game for PC, um, but it's coming out with expanded content, and it looks batshit crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a more wild trailer for anything in my life. So definitely go check that out. Um, it's going to be really interesting. It's from Justin Roiland, the guy who made Rick and Morty, so that should be really cool. Also on that note, uh, we confirm now that we're getting Rick and Morty Virtual Regality uh, for PSVR. Should be next year. It looks really cool. Um, I've heard some mixed stuff, though, uh, as it kind of, you know, not that replayable, uh, kind of a short game for what it costs. So we'll see how that pans out. But, you know, I'm a Rick and Morty fan, so that is something I've been looking forward to for a while. Next up, uh, on January 16th of next year, we're getting a game called Anamorphine, which looks really interesting, uh, kind of an art game. Uh, it's based on dealing with depression and uh, hard memories and substance abuse and all kinds of stuff. Um, they were talking about in the PSX uh, discussion of it about, you know, your substance abuse takes you into these alien worlds that disintegrate around you because that's the way it is. And, you know, you don't get the real respite that you're looking for. It, it looks depressing, but awesome. Uh, guilt and feelings of powerlessness transform your apartment into a twisted version of itself. There's some cello shit. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but very depressing, so <laughs> that's coming. But uh, if you're not the type who's into artsy games about dealing with your feelings, uh, we've also got a lot of first-person shooters on the way, uh, some of which look really, really cool. Uh, Firewall Zero Hour is coming soon. 2018, it's going to be PSVR exclusive with aim support. Uh, it's a 4v4 tactical team shooter, kind of like Rainbow Six or something like that, which people, I'm sure, will be excited to see in VR. And these devs have worked on stuff like Overwatch, Halo, Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, so they've got a really good background in first-person shooters. And uh, incidentally, they are also working on ROM Extraction, which is getting ported uh, next year, I believe. So that one should be pretty cool. So the next shooter we're going to talk about is Blood and Truth, which is the first full game uh, from the guys who made London Heist and VR Worlds. So that is really exciting to a lot of people, myself included. Um, you're a British ex-military guy who gets pulled back in. He says, I'm too old for this shit but my family's in danger, so you gotta go shoot guys again. And um, some of the mechanics look pretty cool. They've got this kind of teleport movement that doesn't exactly teleport you. You pick uh, cover spots, and your guy kind of walks, and you can shoot on the way. Looks pretty good. I haven't seen anything like that in VR. Um, some segments kind of look like Time Crisis, where you've got the constant forward movement, and guys are popping out, and you gotta shoot them on the way. Um, so looks really well done, and definitely looking forward to that. That is a PSVR exclusive uh, for next year. 2018. And then we've also got Killing Floor Incursion coming out, uh, which is, if you know Killing Floor, you shoot a bunch of zombies and monsters and stuff. Usually it's kind of like a wave-based horde shooter. Uh, this one is developed from the ground up for VR, and it's story-based, although it also seems to have a horde mode included. Uh, no word about locomotion in this one, so I'm, I'm not sure there, but um, it looks like it uses two move controllers. And uh, it's already out on PC with kind of some mixed reviews, so we'll see how that comes to PSVR. But uh, something to look forward to if you're a fan of the franchise. And the last one up, as shooters go, is Shooty Fruity, uh, which we've been hearing about for a while. Um, looks kind of like it's got a job simulator vibe, but it's sort of a wave-based shooter where you're blowing up fruit. Um, seems like a good variety of guns. 
But uh, this is from End Dreams, who you may know has kind of a bad record for PSVR games. Uh, they made Perfect, they made The Assembly, so they will wait and see on this one. But it looks like it could be a decent amount of fun. So there's one game that I think we're hearing about for the first time at uh, PlayStation Experience 2017, which is Jupiter and Mars. Uh, you're a dolphin. Looks like you got a dolphin friend. Kind of got like an Echo vibe, which is great. Uh, looks beautiful. I don't know what the gameplay is like, but... Uh, you're underwater, humans have gone extinct, there's some remnants of an abandoned civilization, and you're swimming around as a dolphin. Sign me up. Uh, I think that should be pretty cool. But we still don't know much about it, so well, I guess we'll see. One interesting thing to see at uh, PSX 2017 was some info on Golem, uh, which has been around since, I mean, it was announced when PSVR came out over a year ago. Haven't heard a whole lot about it so far. But um, they showed some, some gameplay. They kind of talked about the story. Uh, you're this injured kid named Twine who discovers she can control golems with her thoughts. Uh, so you're moving around these big stone creatures. And uh, they talked a little bit about the movement. I guess you move your head forward to move the character, uh, which is kind of interesting. I haven't seen that before. Um, the city that you're playing in is supposed to be kind of open world. And uh, they showed off some scenes where you're fighting against the other enemy golems with a big sword. Uh, with the move controller. So some new stuff there, still no release date or anything, but uh, something to look forward to. Uh, we did get some kind of unfortunate news as it pertains to Dreams, which is a game that a lot of people have been looking forward to, uh, Media Molecule's next game, kind of like a psycho psychedelic building game. Um, we expected VR support, but it looks like it's not going to be included at launch, and it's going to be limited VR support. So nobody really knows what that means, and uh, I guess we're going to kind of have to wait and see on that one. So kind of unfortunate news there. So this next one kind of came out of nowhere, um, but a lot of people I think will be pretty pumped about it. It's uh, basically VR Punch-Out. So we're getting Knockout League, um, which looks like a move support game, uh, really cartoony style, looks pretty polished. Uh, seems to be some sort of campaign mode where you kind of go through and you've got a career and you got to beat all these people. Um, very fun. Looks very fun. And everybody wants Punch-Out in VR, right? So that's coming at some point. We don't have a release date yet, but should be not too long. And last but not least, we got a big one here, Vacation Simulator. So there's not a whole lot of info on it. Uh, probably a 2018 release, but even that has kind of a question mark behind it. But it is the sequel to Job Simulator, who hopefully you guys are all familiar with. Um, one of the best launch titles for PSVR. Super duper fun. And this looks like they just kind of adapted the same gameplay, the same mechanics to a uh, vacation simulator. So really looking forward to that one, but we don't have much info at this point. So overall, lots of really cool new stuff uh, coming out of PSX 2017. Um, so definitely go and check out some of the trailers I showed you. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like or subscribe unless you did already. Much appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.